if you can see the pattern here is I am prioritizing I can't even pronounce that word let's do this again if you can see the pattern here I am prioritizing myself first at least two hours of the day belong to me because I am important it's me it's my mental health first it's my physical health first and then all the other things will follow a daily routine built on good habits and disciplines separates the most successful among us from everyone else the routine is exceptionally powerful from next week monday or from next month or from next year i want to lose more weight i want to drink less i want to become financially independent i want to start a family i want to look for a better job i want to study hard i want to be in the best career i want to travel i want to do all these things does this sound familiar and then after a few weeks or a few months what happens class what happens in there guys i certainly have been there i've made all these goals we tend to say tomorrow i will start this tomorrow i'll start running tomorrow i'll start eating better tomorrow i'll start this or next month or next year if it's january you know your january new year resolutions we all do that come january or a few weeks or a few days we are all demotivated to do anything before I continue sharing my cabbage diet, I thought I should come and tell you what I've done prior starting my diet, which has really helped me and which is really, really helping me. So I'm generously going to share all that in this video. So kindly, if you want to change your life or if you want to start changing your life, this is the video for you. So kindly stay till the end. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I hit that reset goals button and found or created or established a routine that has worked for me so far and is really, really working for me. So I would like to generously share with you because I'm feeling stronger, healthier, happier. My faith in Jesus Christ is growing and that is one of the things I really wanted to get back to, to grow my faith and my relationship with God. I feel like I'm more loving, more grateful, more forgiving, more, I feel like my life has just changed. And this is what I wanna share with you if you feel stuck. So I wanna say that my routine has really, really helped me. I feel more productive. Productivity means different things to different people. And for me, I feel like my days are super productive and motivation is something else we're going to talk about sometimes i'm not motivated but i know what i have to achieve and this is what i want to share with you today so if you like to customize the routine i'm going to be giving you or follow my routine i'm happy for you to do that because you're trying to be that girl that girl you have in your head this is the start this is the beginning i'm here to tell you that it's not too late so let us get on with this video Hi, if you're new here, my name is Miss Jenny and in my channel we do everything to do with travel, fashion, lifestyle, personal growth, faith growth. This is something I'm introducing, the faith growth, because I'm a Christian, I love Jesus as my personal saviour, but I feel like I have been too busy to give time to God, which I have always wanted to do something, so this is part of my faith growth as well, and I would like to share with you if you're a believer of jesus christ or whatever faith you have if you feel like you've been stuck in your faith journey i'm here to share my faith journey or I've just started sharing my faith journey so that we can all grow together regardless of who you pray to or your religion or your faith i am just sharing my faith and i hope that we can motivate each other in this journey um, so what is a routine a routine is a series of behavior frequently repeated or a sequence of actions that are regularly followed so you might ask yourself why is it important to create a routine countless times we have read and heard about the greatest people speak about how powerful and important routine and habits are for change and improvement of behavior but a lot of us are still very scared to set a routine when people don't have a routine or structure to their day it can cause increased stress and anxiety as well as overwhelming feelings lack of concentration and focus so having a regular routine can help you to lower stress levels form good daily habits take better care of your health feel more productive and be more focused so how did you do it you may ask for me my first step was to create my list of my daily non-negotiables jobs or activities or habits 
uh, that I'm not willing to negotiate with anybody, not even myself. So that was my first step. There's a lot in life that we are not in control of and it is nice to have a few simple moments that we feel we can control. Therefore, having your non-negotiables is the best way to take charge of your life through your day-to-day -day habit and ultimately guide the path to your life. So what are non-negotiables? This simply means not open for debate or discussion, none of that, just a period. What I plan to do is what I plan to do and I'm going to be doing it, period. So the question here is to ask yourself, what are your non-negotiables? This may seem obvious, but a non-negotiable is simply something you're not willing to negotiate and involves or requires you to set boundaries both with yourself and others. This will depend on your personal values, goals, beliefs, lifestyle, morals, and so on. So here is the list of my non-negotiables. So number one is sleep. For me, ensuring that I get eight hours of sleep every night is very important. Obviously, sometimes it's a bit difficult to get like eight full hours, but that is what I'm aiming at. So sometimes it will be seven and a half, seven hours, but I'm okay to sleep between seven and eight hours so it is up to you decide how long you want to sleep but obviously the science or the clever people say that sleeping eight hours is very important for your body so i try my best to be in this bed by 8 30 i know it's too early i don't have things to watch on the tv or i don't really like to watch things on the tv but because i want to wake up early then that works for me and so i'm 8 30 in bed doesn't mean that i fall asleep by the time i fall asleep it's nine so for me it's between 8 30 9 to go to bed and then waking up is five between five and 5 30 so sometimes it's 5 10 5 20 but 5 30 mostly i want to be up because that is what is working for me with my routine and i will share in details how like for example my 5 am routine if you like to see that kindly comment down below because that is the best thing that has ever ever happened to me in my productivity life i can assure you that after i wake up the most important thing for me is to pray sometimes i pray for five minutes you know the mind plays you sometimes i can pray for 20 minutes the other thing i'm trying to do alongside prayer is to read bible like the physical bible i always like read bible on my phone or verses on my phone but i'm trying to limit my screen time especially in the morning there is not screen time at all so what i'm incorporating now into my routine is reading bible at least five or even two verses if i read the whole chapter i will not even understand or oh, i'll forget i'll understand but i'll forget immediately so for me it's better to read one verse a day and then think and meditate on that verse throughout the day other than reading a whole chapter just for the sake of reading it but you might be different you might be wanting to read a whole chapter every single day if that works for you that works for you if you want to pray for a whole hour if you don't pray that is up to you you can always do something else meditation yoga or something like that yoga is something i was doing before but I, i'll explain uh, later possibly that is my routine for winter because what i'm doing now after my prayer i'll not be able to do that in winter so if you would like to see my winter routine god willing stay tuned the other thing which is also very important and has made a whole difference in my life is running i don't say running because i don't really really like to run really fast that is something i'm also trying to get into because i used to run all throughout my life since primary school high school competition levels uh, that is back in kenya so i've always loved running walking but a few months before april there is a period there i didn't even do nothing so I will explain all that in a different video obviously but for me running in the morning has really changed my life running jogging that's jogging that's what i i call it for me it's more important that i am out of the house between 5 30 and 5 40 i'm out for half an hour so i run to the seafront and along the seafront and then come back home and that has literally changed my life i tell you my productivity life I come back feeling so so strong even feel stronger my health my heart my gut is i mean i'm just feeling really strong and happier running it could be walking for you if you don't enjoy running or even doing exercise or whatever you choose to do 
during your time or however you plan your time that is up to you but make sure it's something that is beneficial to your mental health fast mental health beneficial for your you know whole health that is something you wanna think of you know either jogging walking yoga or whatever exercise you wanna do if you can see the pattern here I am prioritizing myself first the first at least two hours of the day belong to me because I am important I have to look after myself first before I look after the other people you know so the two hours are for me sometimes I go for runs with my son if you like to see that because he's got also other activities to do when we go out comment down below we will do a joint a mother-son routine if you like to see that but for me and for him we're not letting the world dictate to us first thing in the morning with the social media looking at Instagram or TikTok or whatever or all these things no it's us it's me it's my mental health first it's my physical health first and then all the other things will follow I will definitely do a 5 a.m. morning routine so you see exactly what I mean so my number four non-negotiable is I call her my Caroline I always say oh I'm gonna do my Caroline now but it's not my Caroline she is a youtuber and i've followed her and i've done lots of her workout and she is the only person on youtube that i really enjoy her workouts so i do caroline after my run and i try to do my run for five days in the morning and try to do my caroline for five days in the morning so i have two days of rest because that is very very important so you know jogging caroline and then i'm back home and her workouts are between 35 minutes to 45 minutes so you see it's almost two hours all to me to me and i'm very happy about that my fifth non-negotiable is my son this depends on if schools are open or not it's to prepare him for school to make sure i feed him before he goes to school and also to drop him to school and prepare uniform and all these things so that is my fifth non-negotiable that is what i do so between that time or after i finish caroline it depends on the time and what i'm doing at that point number six is breakfast this is different for everybody i've done fasting before i've done diets before but for me because i'm working out i'm running in the morning I'm nothing you know i like to run and exercise fasted so after i do all this and i drop my son to school it is very important that i feed my body and i've got a few videos where i'll show you how i've eaten cabbage and guys to honestly speak is because i started eating cabbage i mean this is where all the energy came from if you haven't watched those videos please go and see how eating cabbage has really transformed my you know my gut health my body health my physical health my mental health my stomach is not bloated anymore you know it's like a domino effect eating cabbage has been like a domino effect because of I started that diet and I'm still doing that and my battery's flashing that's why I'm able to do these things over and over again and I don't even think about it let me change the battery so we are back <laughs> seventh non-negotiable is my shop for those who don't know I am self-employed I make candles red diffusers wax melts and so on products that make your house smell gorgeous and so we are an eco-friendly sustainable candle business based in the uk if you did not know so if you're in the uk you're watching me you should be burning a candle up there isn't it <laughs> anyway that's for next videos and also we support i come from kenya originally so we are eco-friendly sustainable and we also support young girls with sanitary pads so for every purchase one pound by sanitary pads for pads for girls in kenya from my village that's where we started and i'll leave the link down below to my patreon and also to my business if you like to support your girl i'll really appreciate that i opened my shop for five hours because then after that i have to go and pick my son up from school that is a non-negotiable there is no discussion about it i can't leave my son there at school the whole day and the whole night so that is something there is no discussion about it because that is something i have to do and for you it could be your work if you're self-employed or your children whatever it is that you have to do to benefit yourself and also your health and also you know your finances and stuff like that and you cannot not do it so that is another non-negotiable so my other non-negotiable is cooking for my family because we all have to nourish our bodies i've also started doing meal preps which i have short videos i'm gonna edit that video 
after this so if you like to see what we have been eating this week for our meal prep which i'm gonna be doing another one for second week turn the notification on so you get notified life is hard and life can be tough and you have to look after yourself and so nourishing your body is very important because the bible says our body is god's temple so we have to look after our body as well as our soul the other non-negotiable is miss simba i walk simba my husband does walk simba in the morning um while i'm doing my run or before he goes to work but for me an evening walk is a must i've always walked simba ever since we we've had her we, we adopted simba when she was a year old so i've always walked her sometimes longer before i opened my shop actually i used to go for almost two hours every day to walk her but then there was covid and then after covid then i had my shop and so i've not been able to walk her as much as i used to so sometimes i've been like 20 minutes here 30 minutes here but now 22 days today i started a challenge of walking her one full hour every evening so also another video coming to see not necessarily the body change but how i feel after i do all these things so walking simba has been and it's always been a non-negotiable for me and for my husband as well so that is something we do every day if i go or he goes or we both go that is something that simba has to go for a walk every single day it is what it is and for me now i have dedicated a whole hour so this is my summer routine because the light is on for longer it doesn't get dark until almost 10 pm in the evening and also it's very light in the morning by 5 am when i'm up it's already light but winter gets really dark until almost 8 a.m and 4 p.m is also dark so but i will see how to create a routine for that so that simba also gets her walk during winter and i do all these other things so after that is eat with a family and then spend time with a family with my husband and my son eat dinner prepare relax with family and then prepare for next day which is usually not has had because it's my gym stuff or my running stuff my sons and his uniform and what else not much not much preparation in the evening so it's just getting ready because i think it's if you want to start don't leave your gym or your exercise stuff in the wardrobe that you know that is something you don't want to do because you'll be demotivated you just wake up and think oh i have to do this oh i have to do this no set them aside you know when you step out you've got them ready so you just pick them up get ready out you go and yeah voila so that is my routine i still feel so good i still feel motivated and not motivated sometimes it's not motivated but these are things that i have to do no matter what i'm also new to this routine and so i hope you can join me so we can you know motivate encourage each other and see how far we can go because I'm in now for the longest time. I don't want to stop after a month because where I have been for the last few months, I don't want to go back there. So I want to do things every single day, continue doing this. I might change a few things, but for now, I don't feel like I have to change anything. I feel these things are working for me well. And especially waking up earlier, you see I've already done three major things in my life on productivity that I would have otherwise you know said oh i don't have time for this i don't have time to go for a run so i think waking up as early as you can so i wanted to say that just be reminded that your routine will be personal to you don't feel the pressure to follow what i am doing because it's probably too much and if i saw your your routine or your non-negotiables i'll be like oh my goodness how do you do this so don't pressure yourself if you make one or two changes today and you make sure you stick with that or with those changes for a longer time then they will automatically become habits that you don't even think you don't even worry about them you just they just happen your mind is set to do these things it just feels so good guys you probably will not see the results for three months or anything like that or a longer time but you definitely feel better i can promise you and so i wanted to say that um don't feel the pressure to follow anybody's routine follow what works for you because if you follow somebody else's routine you will end up not achieving your goals or creating that routine or those habits 
and also some of the non-negotiables if you're a married couple you probably do things together and those are things you cannot change or your husband cannot change by himself so if you do things together feel free to continue doing those things together i'm not here to you know separate what you do together because you have to do things differently like i said i do things with my son when i have to do a video with him if he wants to be on the screen i'll ask him he normally doesn't want it so we will see how we can edit videos with him without really showing him if that makes sense i want to say this is my first personal development video let me know how you find the video if you found it inspirational if you got something from it kindly like comment and subscribe and let me know how you found this video and also if you want me to share anything else with you guys i'm gonna be shooting a realistic 5 a.m morning routine very soon so i can give you details of exactly how i do things when i do things and the times and my exercise so you can see different exercises that i do if you like to see that kindly comment down below and share this video we have so many of us we have so many of us who need this video today it's june i haven't read since april read a book since april but i'm planning to include that probably in the next routine because i've been reading like self-development books so the book i was reading before april which really helped to change my mindset that i can reset myself or i can reset my goals almost every week or almost every day i mean it's never too late it's a 12 week year by brian this video is not affiliated but it has really helped me it's a 12 week year that means what you plan to achieve in a year you can achieve that in 12 weeks so if you have that mindset you can literally achieve anything okay so let's do this together guys and before i make this video too long i think it's already too long i am sorry because i don't know i'm just sorry if the video is too long but what i hope is that you have at least got something from this video and at least you've got your pen and paper at this point to create your you know your routine and if you need any help <laughs> kindly comment down below or you can email me i'll leave my email address down here i'm not an expert obviously like we know i'm a newbie but i can share what i've learned and what has helped me before and i've also got another video i've got too many videos for you guys because i was like preparing in advance for this and also for my life so that i've changed everything there's also another month that i try sort of discipline myself to become more consistent so i'm gonna be sharing that with you guys because i was one of the people like you want to change your diet or you want to start running and you run one week two weeks mostly three weeks and then you're already gone back to zero and then you stay another two months without running or exercising and i was like in that circle but i wanted to break that circle so i've also got another video which i'm gonna be uploading very soon but first what this was this one so we can all grow together thank you so much guys and i will see you in the next video bye for now mm.